In the 20th century, electricity was invented. So computers began using electric power. This led to the rapid development of computers. Let's discuss how the modern computer evolved generation after generation. The computers that were developed from 1942 to 1955 were called the first generation computers. The first generation computers used vacuum tubes. A vacuum tube consists of a glass bulb and wire. The wire is used to carry data in the form of electronic signals. The first generation computers were very large, expensive and required huge amount of electricity. The ENIAC or the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Calculator was a first generation computer. The second generation computers were developed between 1956 and 1964. Now what is the difference between the first and second generation computers? The second generation computers used transistors instead of vacuum tubes. As transistors are smaller than vacuum tubes, the computers became much smaller in size. They also became faster and cheaper. nineteen sixty five to nineteen seventy five was the period of the third generation computers integrated circuits were introduced during the development of the third generation computers an integrated circuit or IC is as small as a transistor but it can work as fast as thousands of them integrated circuits made computers faster cheaper and smaller than the second generation computers they used less electricity and made fewer mistakes. The computers developed since 1975 up to the present are called the fourth generation computers. The fourth generation computer uses microprocessors. A microprocessor consists of a small silicon chip on which thousands of circuits are placed. The fourth generation computers are smaller, portable and cheaper. They use less electricity and produce less heat. Computers that are currently being researched and developed are the fifth generation computers. These computers are the most advanced computers. Scientists are now trying to develop fifth generation computers in a way that they can think on their own. This is called artificial intelligence. Robots work on this technology. Now try to answer this question. Which of the following terms is associated with the development of fifth generation computers? Click the correct option. That's right. Scientists are trying to develop artificial intelligence with the fifth generation computers. Computers are made in different sizes so that different people can use them for different purposes. Let us discuss them. Supercomputers are the most complex computers. Supercomputers are used by people who need to process complex and large amounts of data. Supercomputers are used to solve complex numerical problems, make forecasts and analyze scientific or engineering problems. Mainframe computers are large and expensive. They have powerful processors and very large memories. Hundreds of people can work on a mainframe computer at the same time. Mini computers are smaller and cheaper than mainframe computers and have less processing power. Mini computers can process large amounts of data. Unlike mainframe computers, fewer people can work on a mini computer. Microcomputers are the most common computers. They are used by businesses, at schools and at homes. Only one person can use them at a time. They are also called desktop computers or personal computers. Laptop computers are smaller but costlier than desktop computers. They are also called notebooks. 
They can be operated with a battery and as they are portable, they are mostly used while traveling. Mobile devices and tablets are smaller than laptop computers. Tablets are used to organize information, play games and read e-books. Look at the image. It shows an embedded computer. An embedded computer is a microprocessor that is fitted into a device to control its operation. Embedded computers are installed in smart appliances and automobiles to perform special operations. Now try to answer this question. Which of the following is used to organize appointments and daily schedules? Click the correct option. That's right. Tablets are used to organize appointments and daily schedules. So far we have discussed about the evolution of computers and their various types. Now let us do some fun activities to learn more.